Hey fishing friends, we've been talking about this cup of lures. We talked already about inline spinners and spinner baits. Now we're going to talk hard baits. And when I'm not catching fish on spinners, you know, either a spinner bait or an inline spinner, the fish are probably tight to cover. At least some of them are. And there's, you know, it might be a cold front. It, the, the fish aren't as active. And that's when a lure like this can shine. Now, the minnow bait as a category is not new. You know, it's been around for a long, 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 long time. But, um, you know, in the musky circles, musky guys tend to fish them just one way. They fish them like a jerk bait. There's a few guys that fish them like a crank bait. The most guys just fish them like a jerk bait. And I'm here to tell you, if you combine all of this, along with even some top water stuff, you're gonna turn this bait into a super deadly lure for a lot of situations. We're gonna talk about the hybrid retrieve. We're gonna talk about target fishing. We're gonna talk about triggering fish tight to cover. And then we're gonna talk about changing up that whole retrieve pattern and turning it into a deadly figure eight lure at both sides. Let's do it right now. So here we are. If you look out here, you can see a tree in the water, okay? When you're fishing trees in any kind of cover, if you got a hot fish and you throw a spinnerbait or a bucktail over that fish, yeah, he's gonna eat it. But if they're not hot, you wanna keep it in the strike zone as long as possible. And you're not gonna do that with a spinner, okay? You are gonna do that with this bait. So I'm gonna throw this in here. I'm gonna throw it over the tree. See what I just did there? Now, what did I do? Most musky anglers just crank it out of there, right? It's a topwater lure. See how that comes the surface? See that? It just hit the log, but it didn't. It didn't foul because of the square bit. Now I'm letting it flow up to the top, and I'm doing a lot of pausing. By the way, the way to keep a lure close to wood cover is with slack line. I'll show you that in the next cast. But you see I'm working that bait with a lot of slack. I'm not retrieving at all. See that? And that's how you get a great lateral action in this bait. Look at how lateral that action is on that lure. And then I'm going to go into a straight retrieve and finish with a figure eight. Okay, that, my friends, is the hybrid retrieve. Now let's make one more cast. I'll show you what I mean by keeping that lure in the strike zone as long as you can. Now what I just did there was even better. If you can get away with it, I did a little bit long on the cast, so it's floating, right? Let's, there's a big pike or a big muskie or a bass by that tree. See what I'm doing there? With slack line, I'm keeping it in the strike zone as long as possible. And when I'm sure there's nothing there. See, I'm pausing, letting that bait come up. Then I'm going to increase my speed, but I'm always twitching my lure with a little bit of slack line, not keeping this thing overly tight. And that's how you get lateral action on your middle base. And now I'm going to finish up with a figure eight. That, my friends, is the way you can catch fish in cold fronts and cover. It's called the hybrid retrieve. It starts with a surface bait, goes to a slack line twitch bait with lots of lateral action to keep it in the strike zone as long as possible. If the fish doesn't strike it, then you turn it into a crankbait and you finish with the figure eight.